She's one tap. That die is one tap. Oh, no, no, no. They're pushing back to me. That's the anvil right there. He just picked up my D40. Well, that boy wants that snipe, don't he? Okay. What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Saint gameplay and today we're going to talk about more Covert Ops balance changes. So let's head over and check it out. So they did another round of PTS. I think they did it for 24 hours. Uh, I actually got on there with Brad, Dirt Lord, and one of Brad's buddies and did a couple of like wingman custom matches, things like that. Tested some stuff out and just kind of ran with it. Had a good time because there wasn't anybody actually playing the PTS whenever I tried to get on there and do, do some gameplay. But the reason that they opened up the second PTS was because they made some more changes to the game. Now, before we get into the changes, like, I love this idea, right? Because they did a PTS, they got the feedback from people that actually was able to play the PTS, and then they went in, they made some balance changes, and then, hey, we're going to do another PTS, even though it's 24 hours. And this is great until they get the console in there, and then maybe once they get console PTS in there, they can actually start running the PTS for a little bit longer. But let's go over, let's take a look at the balance changes, and then let's give our thoughts on them. So they actually posted the PTS uh, balance changes over on Reddit. I think Radar actually tweeted this out because that's where I saw it. But this is for the March 22nd PTS that happened. I think it was actually March 23rd when the PTS was actually cut on. But these are some of the balance changes and we'll go through them. So the trip mines, they increased the base damage to 120, but they actually reverted this back down. And all right, here's the thing about trip mines. If you're going to have trip mines, it's going to do more damage. That's fine. Trip mines should almost always be a one hit down for the most part, unless you have like tenacity coupled with like headstrong. Well, I guess it'd be armor or whatever. Uh, but you got to put something on the trip mines, man. You got to make them aware of where they're actually going to be at on the map whenever you're going up against them, if they're going to be something that does high damage. So these are some of the rogue changes that they did. Uh, Kestrel, they reduced her damage from 75 down to 55 with her ability. And the ability charge was increased to 75 seconds. Uh, Chalk, his ability cooldown was increased to 65 seconds. Sigrid's ability charge uh, cooldown was increased from 25 to 35 seconds. Runway's ability charge increased from 60 to 70 seconds. Scorch's ability charge was increased from 45 to 50 seconds. Dima's ability charge was increased to 75 seconds. And Switchblade's ability charge was increased to 75 seconds. For the perk changes for Energizer, they corrected the descriptions to reduce confusion on ability use. So the rare version of Energize now reduces charge time by 20%. Epic ability reduces charge time by 30%. Charge time reduced to 30%. And legendary ability reduces charge time by 40%. And charge time was reduced to 40%. Crack shot. So the headshot bonus damage was reduced from 10 to 5%. Uh, for the rare version, the epic version, uh, headshot bonus damage reduced from 20% down to 10%. And legendary, the headshot bonus damage reduced from 30% down to 15%. And then for tracker rounds, the rare version, the cost was increased from 4000 to 5500 The epic was it cost was increased from 6000 to 7500 The legendary cost increased from 8000 to 9500 And then for weapon balance, for the uh, D40C, the headshot damage reduced from 19 down to 18 The SLC headshot damage was reduced from 19 down to 18 The LMPX headshot damage was reduced from 25 to 22 The Knight headshot damage reduced from 32 down down to 30 the ka30 headshot damage reduced from 29 down to 22nd the mark 4 headshot damage was reduced from 32 to 29 the aaron headshot damage was reduced from 48 to 41 the mxr headshot damage reduced from 48 to 42 the devotion headshot damage was reduced from 83 to 78 and the mall headshot damage reduced from 24 down to 22 
So we've got a ton of changes here and we absolutely see where a lot of the outliers come from, specifically with the Energizer perk and the Crack Shot perk. And you see the Crack Shot perk ripple through a lot of the weapon balance changes that they have for it. Um, and with the rogue changes with their ability cooldowns. So they wanted to go in there and actually increase the um, cooldown for a lot of these rogue abilities. And a lot of these rogues that actually got their cooldowns increased have access to the Energizer perk. And it makes sense because like if your core mode is going to be demolition, you got to think like whenever you drop into a match, it's what, two and a half minutes, like maybe three minutes at max from the time that you jump out of the plane until the round's over. So if you're able to get your ability like three, four times in one round and it's something is dead devastating is like a switchblade ult, a Dima ult, a Kestrel ult, then it's really going to make the game feel very frustrating to play, especially for new players. And uh, I mean, uh, for everybody, even veteran players that are coming back into it because they're like, well, this doesn't make sense. Why am I getting Kestrel ulted multiple times throughout the round? I get what they're trying to do with the ability recharge. And I kind of respect what they're trying to do. But at the same time, like, that should be something that should either be an ability, like a passive ability for a rogue, or it should be baked in with the Energizer perk. If you buy the Energizer perk, then the rogues that have access to it can actually get their abilities back. Things like that. I don't know... I don't know if the ability spam is going to be all that great feeling whenever you're actually in game. Like I said, I played it a little bit, but we didn't play demolition. We mainly played um, like wingman strike out and things like that. Just kind of messing around, having a good time. And the energizer perk still feels very strong because you are allowing some of these people like Saint, for example, to have his Saint drawn every 30 seconds when he has energizer coupled with like a one to a one and a half second revive time with the drone it makes it for a very interesting way to play saint but with what they've done with the perks it also forces you into a path for that specific character on that match right so if you want to play with with saint and be an actual like support you actually have to dedicate the money into it that means you may not be picking up gadgets that means you may not be able to upgrade your abilities or your weapons things like that so let me know what you think in the comments down below do you like these changes that are coming with the PTS here. I know that whenever I looked at the battle pass time last night, they increased it by seven days, which is fine because if they're going to do another round of PTS for this big change, then I'm okay with it. They need to get more feedback on it and they kind of need to tweak it a little bit more before it comes to live servers. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, be sure to check the description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, on Thursdays from 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central Time, I will be streaming Rogue Company here on YouTube. So if you're available, please stop by, say hello, and jump into a couple of custom matches. And then on Sundays from 10 a.m. until whenever we get tired, my wife and I have been streaming over there. So if you're available on Sunday, please feel free to stop by and say hello. Thanks for watching, guys. He's in front of me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still haven't tried the objection yet, so I might end up blocking it better, who knows. That thing's a fucking ripper, dude. It goes through ammo quick, but... Fast. That's the problem with it. <laughs> you missed too many uh, shots, you fucked. Someone on this back, on the back side. It's the sniper because there was a. Or here they come. Lethal out. Mm. Oh! Help on the way. I got you. you okay. You okay. How did I miss all the shots? You're right here. Here she comes on the car. Yeah, that bitch is only down. Funny 
when I bought my shit, Chuck goes, good. And then fucking Invisibitch goes, very good. There's several up top. Lethal out. Coming behind us. He's behind us. I'm oh, healing somebody. I stopped it. I know they hear me. She's one tap. That die is one tap. Oh, no, no, no. They're pushing back to me. That's the anvil right there. He just picked up my D40. Well, that boy wants that snipe, don't he? Okay. And no. <laughs> what? That boy missed his one snipe shot on you, and he turned around and ran away. Yeah, I know. Instead of pulling out his assault rifle trying to fight, he was like, uh-uh. Yeah, I fucked up, I fucked up, I'm so sorry. <laughs>